on my charging system. Um, I've been struggling with this for a couple of weeks and I'm kind of an expert now, so I thought I'd explain it. Um, I know I, I could have used a I could have used a little you know video on this on this stuff because it's it's kind of confusing, but um, all right. Well, I thought I because I had everything torn apart and I redid all the wiring. You know, I thought I probably did something wrong, so I questioned I questioned my wiring. I questioned the wiring diagram, but I think um, I actually had everything correct. So um, anyway, let me show you how this works. Here's the wiring diagram that I used and um, unless you have this tractor you know you can't really use this wiring diagram. I mean it's you know the basics are all the same but the way this is wired is you know just the way that you know Gilson did it. But um, um, you know basically one of the problems that I think I, I had was um, I, I either didn't have a good ground and I know I didn't polarize my generator. And um, I'll explain that. I'll explain that a little bit to you. Um, you know, basically, when you get everything connected and you get the wiring all done, and you get your battery in here, you got your you know system has got power on it. You want to polarize this before you try to even start it or try to check the charging system. And um, what you do to polarize it is. Um, with everything connected, right? Okay, this this terminal here, it says it's got F next to it. That's your field terminal. Okay, you pull this wire off, and then you just take a jumper wire and you take you you hook it up to your positive on your battery, right? And you just touch it here, like that once, twice, and that's it. You get a little spark. And what that does is it because this is producing DC. It's a generator. It tells the generator, you know, what the poles are, you know. So this is like north pole positive, you know, and so so you have to do that. Otherwise, it'll kind of it just doesn't work. <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess um, alternators you don't have to do that because they're producing AC. But because the generator produces DC, it needs to know which is positive, which is negative, and that's what you do. That's how you do it. So. Um, Okay, and then well, let me show you the diagram again. And I'll explain this a little bit. I had this thing all, you know, taken apart and I put it back together a few times. Um, now here's your voltage regulator. Now on the voltage regulator, there's four terminals. There's one on the back, and there's these three here. Um, inside of the voltage regulator, there's a couple contacts. Um, I took it apart and I took 600 grit, grit sandpaper and I cleaned those contacts because they're always arcing and they probably get dirty and they, you know, that might be a problem too. So clean your contacts first and put your, put your cover back on. Um, now on the back of the voltage regulator there's a terminal and that's your generator terminal. Okay, then over here you have L, that's your load, you got battery, okay, and then you got F, that's your field. Okay, so um, yeah. On, on my diagram, L, it goes up to my key switch. Okay? But in reality, L is your load. So your load is going to your ignition, your lights, and, you know, um, battery. Um, on my diagram, it goes up to my ammeter. And, but through the wiring, how it works is that the battery, that's your disconnect between your battery and your generator. Um, that, that's when the system is off it disconnects it so you can't drain your battery. So that's what the battery is for. Then your F is your field. And your field goes over to your generator to this terminal with the smaller wire it says F on it. Okay. And then this is your generator um, terminal. And like on mine it goes up to my solenoid but in reality it goes through the wiring, it goes back to your generator. So this this terminal here goes to the heavy wire on your generator. Okay. So um, so what happens is this is your field terminal, right? So from the voltage regulator, from F, you're supplying this with voltage. And when while this is turning, 
when you apply voltage to the F terminal of the field, you you have voltage coming out of it. It produces more voltage, and that's what goes back, charges your battery. So, so that's that's uh, kind of that's kind of how it works. Uh, another thing that I did, and it might have been part of my problem is all the stuff should be grounded because back when they made these things they used to use a tractor frame as ground so this should be grounded your solenoid should be grounded you know basically all your all your stuff should be grounded so what I did is I just took a wire and I, I hooked it right to, right, right to my ground you know this goes up to my battery and I went back and I, I connected it to the voltage regulator and over to the solenoid just to make sure that I have good grounds because everything's painted and you know, it's probably horrible ground, you know, so, so make sure you have good ground, um, you know, make sure you polarize your generator, and then, um, make sure your, you know, your battery is connected to the system when you do it, and, um, when you get it all cooked up, what you do is you just take your voltmeter, and you set it right here, you know, put your negative terminal here, and your positive connection your lead here and watch your, your voltmeter it sits around 12 volts when it has, has its idle in and then as you you know increase your throttle it'll this will spin faster and it'll produce more current your, your, your ammeter should climb it should go you know 12 volts 13 volts 14 volts and um, then as you decelerate it should go back down and if you got that you know it's charging so that is how that is how it works so um, I hope this I hope this helps out somebody. I know I struggled with it, but uh, um, but yeah, that's that's how it works. So there's one more look at that, and uh, that's it. All right, guys, good luck with your project.